Hello, my name is Mark. I built this greenhouse a year ago and I thought I'd do an update on how it's worked since then and show you around a little bit. I had some comments about the way I built this with the 4x4s stacked on top of each other, kind of like log cabin style. Um, the cons comments were about these boards shrinking and getting large gaps in there. As you can see, there are some gaps in here, but they're really not any bigger than what I started with. I thought they might have gotten bigger too. Um, I did not put in a caulk or anything in between them and last winter the greenhouse worked quite well so this year I'm not going to worry about it either but I may put some in next year um, let them dry out even a little bit more as you can see there are some cracks here where um, it did open up a little bit but really not that bad here's another crack here I probably should uh, put some great stuff or something in there get that insulated a little better that's on the front corner of the greenhouse here one of the best things about building this greenhouse shed was I was able to get a lot of storage taken care of so my kayak that I built several years ago is hanging here I got a place for firewood my wheelbarrows which were always kind of in the way I'm able to hang up here and then a car top carrier that uh, you know we use it once a year or so so it's nice to get this out of the way out of the garage and then a ladder on the inside got lots of storage in here as well it's been nice to be able to hang a lot of these things up lawn equipment things I don't use a whole lot of in the greenhouse right now I've got the fall and winter crops already planted last year I was able to harvest in January which is pretty good for Wisconsin we get uh, pretty cold winters here in January it got a little bit too cold and things died off but what was nice at the end of February start of March these things started coming back up so on the end I've got some arugula and then I got some spinach I got this big plant of sorrel which I actually planted last year it survived the summer in here as well and uh, is growing quite well I may have to transplant that out of here into into my regular garden and then I've got some kale in here some onion some leftover beets actually from last year that just started growing randomly carrots and then I did plant some beets over here that are new this year one of the reasons why this works so well all of these tubs here are filled with water and what this does is is create a heat sink and it helps to absorb heat during the day when the sun is shining and then of course it releases it and it helps to mitigate those high high temperatures and then it helps to uh, uh, keep the greenhouse warmer at night last winter on some of the coldest days in mid-february I came out here and there was just a little bit of ice down here on these bottom ones just a little skim of ice otherwise there was liquid water all year round in these tubs I have another bank on this side as well 
when I start my vegetables in the spring, what I'll do is I'll take out maybe four of these, maybe six of these tubs, depending on how many uh, flats I'm going to grow, and I can uh, start my vegetables here in the spring then. When I created my raised bed, I used just two by fours that were untreated here. And I can tell already that I'm going to have to replace those with some treated wood um, in the near future. They just get too wet from when I water. When I put these polycarbonate panels on here, I did not do anything fancy. I just screwed them right down to the top and so there's no um, covering here over this and I was kind of curious about that as far as water. I've been out here when it's been raining very heavily and I've never seen water dripping down inside. The water just tends to go straight down. This is at a 60 degree angle here so the water goes to the point of least resistance and that's just straight down in this case. Some people have asked about rain barrels and why I don't have gutters on the greenhouse. Well I've got two 70 gallon rain barrels here on the back side of my house and I have another one way over there and they are connected so I've got 210 gallons at any given time and there's where the greenhouse is so I decided I really didn't need to put more rain water storage since these are so close so overall I've been very happy with my greenhouse so far thanks for watching I appreciate the support